Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share a little something that might help free some of you up. Okay. Now I'm talking as a person who has been there and done that. I had a mother where the relationship was strained as well. And let me share this with you. For some of you who are led and driven and bound by guilt, bound with insecurities and fear and neediness of your mother's approval, feeling like you never really got it. Now, God understands that. And I know how that feels. But God did not call you or me to be whipping boards, to stand there and take a licking and keep on ticking just because your mama can. So here you are an adult. You have the freedom to come and go. Nothing obligates you to keep going back and getting that kind of treatment. Nothing obligates you to do it. Now I'm gonna share something with you. The Lord spent 10 years, right around that amount of time, uprooting, healing, cleansing, removing all of my emotional scars that were related to my mother. Completely healed me. But then there came a point where God says, there's something deep down in there. I got to get out because I need you to reach a certain level emotionally and psychologically, and you will never, as long as that weight is tied to the core of your soul. So let's get it out. And that root was rejection. God himself verbally called it by name. And for two hours in my living room on my couch, as if I were with a psychiatrist or psychologist, God was the one. He uprooted all the crumbs, all the tentacles, all the threads, all the strings, all the chains of rejection. Every root of rejection was pulled out of me. And as a result, I became a new person, even though I had been saved 10 years. A big change happened inside of me. A new level of freedom. And I already was free compared to not being in Christ. When I got in Christ, I was free. But this was a whole new level of freedom, a whole new dimension of freedom that came as a result of not only the healing he got me through all those 10 years, but deliverance. So what I want to say to you, after having been on both sides of that coin, while you're on the side where you're still hurting, where you still feel obligated, where you still want your mother's approval, where your mother still abuses you, verbally attacks you, and, and, and says things and does things that cut you to the core. This is what I want to say to you. And this may free you. When my mother passed away, I felt no pain. I felt no sorrow. I felt no anger. I wasn't indifferent. I just didn't feel. I wasn't trying not to feel. I just didn't. And when I tried to arrange to get to my mother's memorial service, which was thousands of miles away, at least, the Lord spoke to me through his word. He led me to a scripture. He gave me the name of the book and the, and the, and the chapter. I can't think of it now, but I'll write it down when I in the description box when I look it up. It was a long time ago, you guys. 82. Well, what God told me through that scripture was what Jesus told the man who said, let me go back and bury so-and-so and I'll come follow you. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Now, this is the benefit of being in the body of Christ. When I said that, my pastor looked at me and he said, that registered in my spirit. You were not supposed to go. You would not have handled it well. And I knew that because God had shown me after the fact, after everybody got back, that some stuff had gone down. I would have gone off. 
because even though my mother and I had issues, I was very defensive. I, I loved her deeply. But anyway, moving right along to your issue. That's enough about me. This is just to make an example. I'm setting the stage. Okay. Some of you feel so obligated. When your mother calls you, you feel like you've got to run. When your mother needs you, you feel like you've got to fill that need because she's your mother and you owe her. No, no, no. No, you don't. Listen to this, you guys. God did not call you to be abused. He did not call you to be a victim. He did not call you to be the scapegoat for your mother's frustrations. He did not call you to be a doormat. Now, he's calling you to freedom. So what you do is you do like the person who's quarantined. You stay away from everybody who's got the kind of sickness you got. You stay away from everybody that made you sick in the first place. And you may have to take a long break from your mother. You may have to take a long vacation, an extended vacation from being around your mother. I'm telling you, there are times you have to sever mm, in order to get yourself together. I'm telling you, it, it's true. It sounds cold. But I'm not speaking out of anger. I'm speaking out of survival. You might get sucked right back down in that trick bag that you've lived in all your life under your mother's shadow. No, you want to be under the shadow of the Almighty in the secret place of the Most High where all the goodness is there for you, not all that negativity. You don't need that. You are trying to heal. Heal. Now, you cannot heal yourself. Pills won't do it. Uh, counseling and all that, they may help you navigate through some stuff, but this is what's going to help you. You go to God on a daily basis. You sit down with your little checkoff list. You write down every single issue that you think you have, every single abuse that's been done to you, every single hurt that's been said to you and the things you don't remember, add them to the list. Just say, These, this is the part I don't remember. And ask God, Lord, go through this list and remove all the pain from all of it. Remove the roots of rejection. Remove the, the hangups and the insecurities that I lived through as a result of the hurts I've suffered. Heal me totally and make me whole. And help me forgive every single one in the name of Jesus. The forgiveness is not for them. The forgiveness is for you. That's one of your main keys to healing and freedom. Now, I'm going to leave you with that. But just know, you don't have a leash on you, baby. You don't have to come every time somebody yanks your chain and puts a guilt trip on you. Guilt is not of God. Neither is fear. Neither is intimidation. Neither is manipulation. Neither is control. We already know abuse is not. So I pray that you heal. I pray that you allow yourself, give yourself permission to stay away, quarantine yourself, and stay in a healthy environment in the presence of God and his people. God bless you as you heal.